Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot, and this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading um, <clears throat> for November uh, 5th to weekly tarot and Lenormand reading, excuse me, uh, for November 5th to November 11th, 2018. Um, so uh, while, I'm sh while I'm shuffling the cards, guys, again, I want to remind you that this is just a general reading for Virgo star sign and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video, I will try to do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings. Please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So, uh, what we do have uh, is the usual four card spread I'm using for uh, weekly readings. Um, and first we are going to see what Tarot is offering to you Libras. Oh, one more one more thing, uh, the monthly videos are already out as well for the month of November, so if you do uh, want to know what the prospects are for uh, your star sign, feel free to check them uh, in this same YouTube channel. So we do have the four card spread and the, uh, the tarot spread and the first card here is to show us the topic of your, Lib of your Virgo's week and that is to be the Ace of Swords. So this is going to be a, a week of where you are to make major breakthrough in a couple of ways. Uh, <clears throat> one of the ways, it's the most um, common, where you basically are to is to find yourself sick of the current development of your situation. For example, into your career or into your relationship, let's say that you're partner there is making constant shenanigans and constantly is making excuses for those shenanigans or in career uh, your co-workers or in general the how the project is moving on forward is highly highly unsatisfiable and this is going to be the week where you are to say enough is enough slam your fistful on the table and do the necessary measures or take the necessary measures here to improve the circumstances. So this is a improvement, a breakthrough of the circumstances because you basically cannot stand it any longer. And um, you realize that if you don't take the matters in your own hands, they will continue to deteriorate and they will not fix themselves miraculously. The other way of manifestation is that the circumstances are to improve by you having uh, those very meaningful um, and important conversations over almost negotiation-like uh, uh, events which are to set the your near future, what is to be your near future and if that's the case for you Virgos then this card asks you to be very very honest for what you expect to happen, how you're expecting it to happen and what do you want in general from the situation to uh, unfold. And also this card in the very superficial level may point that you are to find out for a, a big truth that it was swirling around you in the near, uh, in the recent past. The uh, core of the situation or rather like um, the root of the matter here is the judgment card. So a major insight it is what came to you. So we do have the breakthrough taking stronger and stronger manifestation here with the judgment because the judgment as I like to say is the wake up call, is the realization how big this undertaking can be if you know the necessary measures are taken um, <clears throat> when you kind of like, um, well, what is the word here? When you scale it for what is right now. So in other words, um, these cards are pointing that you are to have a, a huge impulse here 
throughout this week to make the things right and in generally to um, to basically traverse the situation of deteriorating into a situation of prosperity. The judgment points uh, as a core of the situation that you have obtained that different view, that different perspective, that different realization, basically different mindset which now allows you to basically lead those negotiations. It allows you to do what is necessary so you can improve your circumstances. Very common is that this insight is a realization that actually you have nothing left to lose, you know, and basically has something needs to be done. Otherwise you are continue you are to be continue on plummeting down into the abyss of darkness, for example. So you basically have to take the matters in your own personal hands. But the core here, what really provokes this huge impulse is the realization basically that, uh, you know, there is nothing left to be lost any longer. So whatever measures you take, even a drastic ones, because the Ace of Swords is about drastic measures here, provoked by the misfortune, by the poignance of the situation, um, are going to give results one way or another. <clears throat> the judgment card here also may represent a pregnancy or a birth of a child, which in that specific case is to, um, if that's the case here, then these cards are pointing that you will totally replay or kind of like renegotiate the rules of your marriage or of your relationship that will at the end severely um, kind of serve in your favor if I may express myself that way. Next what we do have is the challenges which are causing predicaments here. This is to be the uh, Queen of Pentacles. So no ideal card that I want to see as a follow-up and uh, this card, it is uh, displaying a person this time around uh, uh, which is trying to conserve the situation and situation is. So it's kind of like a, 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 an opposition that you are to have here. You know, you're trying to make the breakthrough here and at the same time you do have a person who is trying to sustain the situation as the situation is. Uh, that could be your mother, it could be the mother of your partner into your, um, into your relationship, it could be your supervisor as well. For example, you realize that that career, that job no longer is going to give you anything, you know, and you say, all right, it's time for me to leave. It's a kind of drastic measure, but it's time to for me to leave and we have your supervisor or your boss here trying to keep you in unfortunately they will not try to keep you in as this is a challenge here they will not try to keep you in um, <clears throat> by offering you for example better position or bigger salary but they will try to keep you in uh, relying on a stipulations in your contract so it's a predicament that you have to overcome in order to um, exert here the, uh, the the drastic measures you need to take so you can improve your circumstances. What is important to be know here is, is that this person is very uh, creative when it comes to uh, pulling hidden weapons from their sleeves. So you have to be very um, you, you need to have big awareness, you know, of, of uh, what you, where your weaknesses lies. You need to acknowledge your weaknesses, you know, and do what is necessary in order to prevent um, someone to use them as a leverage against your wish to, again, improve your circumstances. Additionally, if um, <clears throat> this card in the uh, minor cases here throughout the uh, Virgo society does not represent person, then this card represents the, um, the regret with which you are leaving that situation or you are traversing that situation, realizing that the, or kind of like the regret is going to be connected with the, um, with the imagination or rather, yeah, it's the imagination um, how good uh, this situation could have been if everybody cooperated, but unfortunately none is. So that's why you need to take the matter in your own personal hands here. The last card that we do have is the best possible course of action, is what I like to say, it, or the guidance that Saro is offering to you, Virgos. And that will be the Ace of Pentacles. So uh, this card um, is advising you to be very, um, how can I place, uh, very thorough when you are to make 
any kind of action or take any kind of decision and very thorough I mean that you need to kind of like uh, um, analyze it twice or even three times before you actually execute it because the as the ace of pentacles represents success the ace of pentacles asks you to be prone more toward the long distance goal toward the um, yeah toward the long distance goal rather than to be prone to kind of have a, a quick money here or quick dividends or for example just a, a temporary success so uh, when we talk about that it, these couple of cards here does not contribute very well with one another because the ace of swords is rather more swift and quick the ace of pentacles is more slow and methodical more organized so uh, you, it, it will be I, I do suspect that this talks more like a, a careful planning before you actually make the now uh, make the step mo the steps moving forward kind of like contributing itself with the queen of pentacles if you do have someone who is going to use the leverages against you then um before you actually reveal your intentions here to make the breakthrough uh plan it very carefully uh, acknowledge where the weaknesses are of that plan do what is necessary you know to support um those posts those those spots of weakness so these people can't press buttons there and then when everything is a hundred percent thoroughly um thoroughly analyzed and thoroughly taught then you execute your actions so that was uh, the uh tarot reading for you virgos and let's see what the lenormand is to say here now the lenormand is to show event that you should either look forward to or uh try to avoid now let me shuffle them really nice now let's see what we have here. So the first one, this is to be the tree. And the tree st stands for health, longevity, rooting, long lasting. Then the next one, that is to be the key. The key stands for closing or opening, discovery. And then the last one, that will be the, uh, the letter. So I do believe that we're talking here about negotiations. This is opening of a long-term negotiations or opening of a long-term uh, <clears throat> communication with someone most likely through emails most likely through chats as well uh, it's not going to be um, uh, face to face or if there is a face to face portion it's going to be a very minor one as well so uh, yeah it is important here to um, to really uh, uh, kind of like well it's difficult to explain but it's important here very well to uh, analyze the ways that you are going to talk with these people or with that person because for example this could be uh, the person that you're going to start chatting with who can be your next boyfriend or a girlfriend that could be the person that you're going to start chatting with or kind of like a exchanging emails which may appear to be your next um, your next boss, your next employer, for example, etc., etc. The point is that this communication is going to open new doors, guys, or it's going to close them. Well, that will depend on you, how swift you are and how uh, reckless you are. So the Ace of Swords at the start of the reading here represented recklessness as well at a certain extent. But at the end, we do have a breaks that you can put on that recklessness and really maximize... Um, the 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 benefits from the break from the breakthrough that you are to make throughout the week november 5th to november 18, uh, 11th 2018 so uh that being said virgos this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading i hope you enjoyed and, and you liked it and again this was just a general reading for virgo star signs and it was not your personal reading therefore um here I explained you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Uh, now if you want me to do that for you, well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!